Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing another one of the 24-hour challenges where somebody else picks your food. I did do letting the person in front of me pick my food for 24 hours, so if you haven't watched that one yet, make sure you go and watch that one. But for this one, we are going to be letting the employees pick our meals. So it is about 9 o'clock right now, and we are going to head to Dunkin' Donuts to get some breakfast. So let's go. I'm not really sure what to get, so can you just pick for me? Um, as far as like a drink, or can you get a drink or something new? Yeah, I want like a drink and an actual meal, but I want to try something new. Okay. Do you like spicy? Uh, oh uh, yeah. Okay, but you still have the sandwich is pretty good. All right, and we'll have that. Do you like want something iced or hot for a drink? Ice is good. Ice. Okay, so I'll give you. What size are you looking for for a drink? Uh, just a small. Okay, I'll give you a small iced coffee and I'll All right, thank you. Okay, you guys, we're back and we have breakfast. I'm not entirely sure what she gave me. I couldn't really hear her through the little microphone thing. So I was just kind of like, yeah, sure, give me that. I think this is just a plain sweeten. Oh, oh no, it's not. So she asked me if I liked it light and sweet, and I said yes, so she gave me a butter pecan swirl iced coffee, which actually sounds really good. I do like butter pecan. My go-to Dunkin' coffee is a caramel coconut. So, mm. oh my God, that's super sweet, but it's really good. Okay, so oh, that's so sweet. And then she asked me if I liked spicy. So this, I'm assuming is spicy. So I think this is a sriracha bacon egg and cheese on a croissant. Ah! Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting it all over my car. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Guys, I don't really like croissants, but we're gonna eat it. Honestly, I think this would be really good on a bagel. So maybe next time on my own time, I will try this on a plain bagel because I feel like it'd be really good. But if you guys aren't into spicy things, I definitely wouldn't get this. To me, it's not that bad, but I have a pretty high spice tolerance. So I think it's good. But if you don't like spicy, wouldn't recommend this. But it's getting everywhere. Big thumbs up to that Dunkin' Donuts employee for making me try something new. So this croissant is getting everywhere all over the place would not recommend eating in your car Alrighty, you guys i just got back from the gym i took a shower it is about lunchtime right now it's like 12 30 and i think what i'm gonna do is try the delivery method i've seen some other youtubers do this where they go on like their local delivery app or whatever and then they select something and in the special instructions they just say pretty much make me whatever you want so i think i'm going to get subway and i'm just gonna choose the most expensive sandwich that you can get. That way he can put whatever he wants on it and not have to worry about price. So the most expensive sandwich I see here is $6.89. I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna do a six inch. It's required that you like put in bread and everything and like cheese, but in the special instructions, I'm gonna say do not make this sandwich exclamation point make me whatever you want i hope you guys can see this it says do not make this sandwich make me whatever you want in capital letters i chose the most expensive sandwich so you could put whatever you want on it proceed to check out i really hope he puts whatever he wants on there and he doesn't just make that sandwich 16 dollars for a darn sandwich holy crap oh my god <laughs> Okay, order the sandwich and I guess while I'm waiting, I will put some makeup on so I don't look like a fetus in this whole entire video. So I will see you guys when my sandwich gets delivered. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right, you guys. 
We got the sandwich. She literally passed my house and then backed all the way down the street. We're gonna see what we got here. Ooh, okay. I don't really know what this is. <laughs> this is the jalapeno bread. Oh my God, this is gonna be spicy. Everything that I got today is spicy. Jalapeno bread, it looks like there's chicken on here. There's green peppers, lettuce, I think there's bacon. Tomatoes I see on here, onions. It looks like the chicken that they use for the chicken bacon ranch. And then there's like a really spicy, I think that's the chipotle sauce. So we're gonna try it. It's pretty good. Oh. I just bit into the jalapeno. Okay, I need water. I have a pretty high spice tolerance. It's good, it's a really good sandwich. It's just freaking spicy. Oh, I'm about to bite into another jalapeno. He did a really good job with the toppings though, like everything together tastes really good. My lips are on fire, it's okay. Everybody's just trying to give me spicy food today, I guess. Everybody just wants me to suffer today. They're like, oh, you're making me pick your food? Well, that sucks. I guess that's what I get. <laughs> Is there guacamole on this? So spicy, my lips are on fire. Last bite. All right, sandwich is gone. Lips are on fire. But I ate it all. I did it, you guys. Right now, I feel like I ate a dozen like hot, hot chicken wings. So I don't recommend getting that bread. Even if you have a pretty high spice tolerance, it's still, it, it's gonna burn. So I do not recommend that bread unless you like to be in pain. So it's dinner time now. It is about four o'clock and I'm headed to work super early as you guys can tell. I'm leaving about 30 minutes earlier than I usually do so we can go get some dinner at Panera Bread. I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that I don't get something disgusting because this is my dinner and if I don't like it, I'm going to be starving my whole entire shift. I want to try something new today. Can you give me any recommendations? What kind of item are you looking for? Honestly, anything. What is your favorite thing to get? Favorite thing to get? Alright. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of have my own mac and cheese that I've made. I don't know if that interests you at all. It's, uh, it's called the Jordan Mac and it's pretty light changing. Okay, let's try that. Alright. Do you have any allergies you should be aware of? No. Can you want a small or a large? Um, a small. All right, anything else can do for you? That's it. All right, 593, we'll see you at the window. All right, thank you. All righty, you guys. I don't know if you could really hear him, but I think it's like his own version of the mac and cheese. And he says he's been trying to get it on the menu. And honestly, guys, I think I am a little bit lactose intolerant or like have a problem with dairy because every time I eat it, my stomach gets really upset. But that's the first thing he said. And I was just like, yeah. So, oh my God, this is what it looks like. Oh my God. Okay, so there's bacon, chicken, and some type of like spicy sauce over it. This, oh, it just got on my pants. That's super good. I think the dressing stuff on it was Chipotle Ranch, so I think it's supposed to be like chicken, bacon, ranch, mac and cheese. Honestly, it's so good, but <laughs> this is not gonna agree with me very well. If you guys wanna try this, highly recommend. He said order it every time you come if you like it, so that way maybe they'll put it on the menu. So help a dude out, guys. Go order this. I already know I'm gonna be regretting this later. Honestly, Pray for me, guys. 
this was my last stop. This was dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I post every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.